Hey guys, we're doing our very first recap of the Salt Lake City Real Housewives franchise, season three, episode one. We're about to work out, as you can see. I'm going, well, I'm wearing my waist trainer right now, so yeah. this really helps. Oh. This really works. Does it? It does. Is that for back support? No, it gets it gets you all sweaty. I, it, whatever it does, but it makes my stomach go in. Well, I know your back's been hurting. I thought maybe. Well, oh. that's good though. Yeah, no, it feels um, good. But I'm gonna go do yoga at 10:30, so we have to wrap this. So up. we're doing this by popular demand because so many people have asked us to recap Salt Lake, and we hadn't been watching it. I watched the first season, and I totally because I was on with um, the ladies. I was on with Heather, and then that. See, I still don't even know their names. Uh, Whitney. Whitney. I was yeah. on with Whitney, and I was yeah. on with uh, on he with Heather. Those yeah. two girls. And Andy so, was asking you about. And then a Andy was asking you about Meredith and Lisa. Lisa. And I was like, I don't know which one is which. Yeah, I. I'm I'm com pretty pretty perplexed on which one is which. <laughs> Well, we fortunately so, have a very loyal patron who's been with us on our Patreon.com Rick and Kelly show, which you should join. She's been there since last October, and she wrote us a summary of the show so far so that to catch us up, and now we're ready to do this We're going to meet Karen at the USC game, by the way. Oh, we are? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so Meredith and Lisa, the two who look alike, have been friends for a decade, and they look like sisters. They got in a fight last year when Lisa didn't think Meredith was defending her with Mary. And Lisa left the table and went to her room and forgot she was mic'd and had a rant. I think I don't know if it was in a room or a bathroom. It was in a bathroom, it looked like, because they she, keep showing that. She had a rant about what a whore Meredith is and has effed all of New York and cheats on her husband, so they hate each other now, or at least Meredith won't talk to her. Mary isn't on the show anymore. Yeah, She's why is it Mary and the Asian girl oh, got God. canceled? I'm getting a call. Right? I'll call him back. Okay. Kevin Schwartz. Oh. oh I that's gotta, a guy. Let me pause. Wait, we're going to pause. pause. Okay, and we're back. Um, where were we? Oh, Mary, Mary is the one who... With the, with the, that Mary, the, the, the grandfather. The grandfather. Right. Mary isn't on the show. Why isn't she on anymore? Mary isn't on the show anymore, but she was my favorite to watch. I'll tell you in a second. She married her step-grandfather when her grandmother died, and that's, she said that's what grandma wanted family disputes that claim she inherited a church where she's the pastor and appeared to be a luxury goods hoarder she couldn't get in and out of rooms with piles of chanel everywhere it came out towards the end of last year she was stealing the parish's money for her own shopping allegedly and she left the show she was my favorite because of her outfits and she would say the most random and craziest things and she had those big eyes yeah she was like this <laughs> whitney Remember? okay whitney and heather uh -huh. are cousins and they're related to Joseph Smith, the Joseph Smith that Mormonism is based on. Did you know that? Heather divorced her husband. That was That's the, the larger the, yeah. of the two. Heather divorced her husband and now speaks out against the church and is on the prowl. She loves large black men in particular. This is Karen telling us this. And in fact, in that first episode, you see her sort of hitting on big baby Glenn Davis. Oh, the yeah, former big dick daddy. Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney was kicked out of the church for cheating on her husband with her current husband. He was also married at the time. She's the youngest and has a very sexual relationship with her husband that she talks about all of the time. Ooh. Meredith and her husband, Seth, those are the friends of Benji, our right. friend Benji, right? Seem to be apart a lot and were on several breaks where they dated other people. Her gay son is a fan favorite on the show because he's really funny. Jen Shaw. I, I found it to be annoying. Yeah, me too. Jen Shaw is married to Coach Shaw, the assistant football coach at the University of Utah. She was in a multi-level marketing scheme and bragged about all the money she had and was arrested mid-season on camera with the feds looking for her. Apparently, she was stealing money from the elderly. She has since pled guilty, but based on the timeline of the show, she's still saying she's innocent when it was filmed, but she's going to jail soon. More on that in a moment. Jenny was on last year and was an Asian woman who was married to a guy who would like her to have a sister wife. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. We didn't watch last week or last year. When Black Lives Matter happened, she had posted some things equating the protest to mobs and got canceled. So she's gone and has not and isn't spoken of. Lisa Barlow is the only active Mormon except she, Lisa. That's the Lisa and Meredith. Yeah. Lisa is the only active Mormon except she owns a tequila company, which is weird. And rumors are her husband is gay. You but those rumors, that. yeah. That, that, everyone says everyone's, everyone's gay. gay. Everyone's gay. Everyone's gay. Except me. Uh, you are caught up. Thanks, Karen. If you're, on, if you're on the show, 
Someone would say you were gay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty common. Yeah. But, but maybe he is. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so we love the Open. Yes, we did. We love the Open. It, it's really cool what they did. They went back three years and took these women's introductory interviews and then took clips and, and like did, treated the video. And it's like sort of ominous that the way they're talking about what's coming ahead. And then they fast forward to now and there's all this fighting and all this stuff going on, right? All this drama. Um, so Heather's the big hefty one. Yeah. Lisa not, Meredith. Not that I'm knocking her because We're not body I'm, shaming. I'm, 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 I'm hefty myself right now. So. Yeah, not really. Uh, Lisa <laughs> and Meredith are this. They look the same. Same. Jen. Jen is Jen Shaw, mm -hmm. and then Mary, oh, Whitney is the is the blonde, the the one with the sexual relationship. Meredith allegedly. is really pretty to look at. I like to look at Meredith, uh -huh. but the way she talks, it's just so. It's like I can't. She just talks like this, and it's just so annoying. And I just, and then the other and one, the Lisa one, is like, yes. She texts like this, and yes, and yes, like, like, give me something to say. Well, um, uh, uh, Meredith said that she wouldn't spread rumors about Lisa after Lisa spread rumors about her, but then she proceeded to spread rumors about Lisa. Right. So. How do you feel about Meredith spreading rumors about you? I mean, I get why Meredith is mad, but she's like, I've eaten so much humble pie that I can't just fit into this dress. That's, yes, that's. I've eaten so much humble pie. Do I have a problem? Do I have a problem um, saying I'm sorry? No, I don't have a problem saying I'm sorry. Um, and I don't have a problem, like, you know, accounting for my accountability and what I say. And it was just like, you know, I said it out of context. And I was just really, really, really upset. Thank you, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly as Lisa. We'll work on that throughout the season. Yes, I just, I need to, like, she just talks like this, and I just, um, it's just, like, <laughs> it's so annoying, and I eat, like, you know, fast food all the time, and... So then Heather goes over to Whitney's house, those two are cousins, and they go down to the basement where the couple built a speakeasy behind that some bookcases. It was really cool. That was cool. And then, and then they go to, at, well, I guess it was before that, they, they're upstairs in the kitchen, and... The the couple's daughter is like super red haired daughter. Yeah. I mean, I assume that is that's that his her, daughter. Is that his daughter or is that her daughter? I think it's his daughter and not before hers. they got married, I think, because it doesn't look Does anything she? like Whitney. She yeah. doesn't I, look we anything. We gotta like... find out. Can you guys tell us if Whitney I don't know I don't remember the first scene. I gotta go back. So I, this is funny. So when when they go down I'm to the catching basement up now. When they go down to the basement, they bring up that Whitney's quitting the Mormon church. And they asked how she's going to do it. And she said via quitmormon.com. <laughs> quitmormon.com. So, <laughs> so I'm like, let me just go on GoDaddy and see if quitjew.com no, is available. No, I said that. I said that. Oh. I, I said, is there, I go, is there a quitjew.com? Oh, yeah, you did. And I, I looked it up that. and there wasn't. So I went on GoDaddy. And sure enough, there was quitjew.com available for, for purchase. So guess who bought quitjew.com? Well, there's Jews for Jesus. Now there's quitjew.com. Can you quit? Can you quit being a Jew? Aren't you just born that way? Well, well I mean, we're all born a certain way, right? Well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm born Mexican. I can't quit me. Of I course can't. you can quit being a Jew. I can't. A lot of people have. I'm not very religious. But the Mormon church apparently is a lot different. Like, they keep it's track of you. Some Sorry people. if I'm offending anybody, but it is. <laughs> well, they do keep track of you. And according to Whitney, they come to the well, house. They keep track of They hound them for money. So my grandmother had a cattle ranch in northern Arizona called St. John's, Arizona. It's near Holbrook. And it's on the border of New Mexico. And it's like Navajo Nation, okay? That's why I'm 30% Native American. Anyway, that next, all of that was, it was Native Americans, Mexican, and Mormons up there. Mm. And those Mormons kept track of all the lineage like really yeah like they they they're they, they're record holders yeah yeah well that's sort of what that's what she said yeah um so um as karen mentioned jen during the filming was complaint was claiming she was innocent even though her co-defendants had pled guilty and taken lesser sentences so i looked it up uh jen uh shaw did plead guilty 
in July. She allegedly scammed hundreds of people out of money through a nationwide telemarketing scam. She was arrested in March of 2021. She had entered a previous plea of not guilty, but in July she pleaded guilty when she appeared in front of a U.S. District Judge Sidney Stein in Manhattan Federal Court. I think I was in that guy's court, actually, when I was living in New York and working for Fox. As part of a plea deal, she admitted her guilt on one count, conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing. And she does still face up to 14 years in prison and restitution of up to $9.5 million. Her sentencing is set for November 28th. And uh, our new friend Adam Newell from Up and Adam said he's going to interview Jen Shaw before her sentencing. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that. But yeah. uh, um, what was I was going to say, Rick's like, well, she pled guilty. Well, sometimes... You plead guilty. My ex-husband was a criminal defense attorney, my first husband. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you uh, plead not uh, guilty, plead guilty to get a lesser sentence sometimes. Yes, of course. But you wouldn't. You just argue with me this morning well, saying. Well, my point you're was. Like, if, you're really, if you're really not guilty, if you're really not, Rick's like, if you're really not guilty, you don't plead guilty. guilty. No, no I, that's not how it works. Well, my feeling on that is if you plead plead guilty then you are guilty you 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 know not you did something time. wrong not, so maybe not right, all the time not, not, all, not all the time but in this case when she had co-defendants who pled guilty when they have already admitted to guilt as part of this very same scheme she I'm she had to know she wasn't going to win well i think that she she doesn't think she's going to prison well according to sources i can't reveal them and you know who they are. <laughs> they, she does she not think, think she's going that, to prison. But she's living in, in the clouds, she's okay? She's living in the clouds. In, 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 in That's, what Park, is that? In is that like Salt there's a sickness there? To steal people from the elderly first and foremost. Yeah. And if, if, if the restitution is up to $9.5 million, and she was stealing a lot of money or, or was involved allegedly in a scheme that was... And the husband didn't know? Uh, he seems so nice. I don't know enough about the that case. That guy seems so nice. He does seem nice. Doesn't and he, he, and he obviously like... loves his wife. But I have to say, one of my least favorite scenes in this show was when they, they had a birthday party for Coach Shaw at this friend's house, this beautiful modern home. I really liked the house. It was a very cool party with like a 20s uh, Harlem night So theme. he's turning 51 years old, Coach Shaw. And yeah. he looks older to me, I think. Yeah, he does. 51. Uh-huh. So... They get to the party. It's his birthday party. And, of course, Jen walks in first and, like, makes this big entrance. Yeah. Like, like it's about her. I'm like, and her husband's behind her clapping. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, this is your party. She should have walked either next to him or behind him and let him have the spotlight entering the home for his own birthday party. Would you be mad if I did that? Yeah, I would be. <laughs> I'd be mad. I'd be pissed. If you walked into my birthday party, like, hey, stealing, sorry, stealing the spotlight. Like, hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm like, what? what? I, this is my, I thought this was my party. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think you'd do that. Would you? Maybe. Oh, geez. Um, the other funny thing that happened was. You'd be uh, like, hey, enough about me. So let's talk about you. So what do you think about me? I think you're fantastic. <laughs> I mentioned uh, big baby Glenn Davis was there. Oh, yeah. Is that the one um, she likes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if they hooked up, but it kind of looked like they were going to. Why not? Yeah. True. Single, single. And then the big scene of the at the party was Lisa and Meredith finally squaring off after their big fight. I guess they hadn't spoken in weeks, a couple months almost. And it was really awkward. First, the two husbands spoke, and that was super awkward. Awkward. The whole thing was awkward. And then Lisa starts talking to Seth, the, the other husband, and that was awkward. And she was apologizing, and he kept, and I respect him for this, he, he kept sort of insisting that, listen, you really, like the things you said about me and about her were beyond hurtful. But at least he spoke to her. Mer Meredith, I understand I understand why Meredith was um, mad. I get it. You do. But you know what? She said it. She didn't say it to anybody. She said it behind closed doors. You say things out of anger. You say things out of rage. Sometimes when you're drinking, it is a true serum. We're not going to lie. Have, so, you, have you ever forgotten you were mic'd up? And yes. You have. Of course. Well, I have Everybody. too. I have too. I was, I was on TV for 35 years and I'd be sitting, 
on a set in between. You have uh, them on all day. You forget. You yeah, forget. You do. You do. And then you realize, like, oh, people are listening. Right. So I get, I could see that happening. I really, really feel sorry for Lisa. She really felt bad. I mean, we all do things. And, you know, if they're supposed to be Christian. They're supposed to, if someone says sorry, you're supposed to forgive them. I'm sorry. That's the way it works. Yeah. And move on. But yeah. Well, you're very good at that. I've seen you do that with multiple friends where there were fights and they were wrong and you accepted apologies and you moved on. Yeah. I think that's what life is about. We yeah. all are not perfect people, human beings. I True. think, you know, if someone says sorry, we have to forgive them. That's. That's the, the the way you should be. Well, I think. we're we're gonna keep watching. Unless Salt Lake. You, you know you sleep with your husband, yeah, then or that's... you murder somebody, or you hurt your kid. I mean, there, then there's no forgiving. Then okay, well, we could create a list of things that you can't be forgiven for. And somebody on my YouTube, I forget the name, said they were in love with you. Oh, you better step off, biatch. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can't mess with her, man. Yeah, you can't mess with my man. You don't have to worry about it, baby. Oh, thanks, babe. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. So we're going to keep watching Salt Lake. It's a fun show, and, and we, we, we're we going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. We like this one. We'll do these recaps every week, Yeah. and we hope you enjoy them. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe on Patreon. And if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Yes, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.